Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. We know that common names are very easy to, uh, you can say, memorize. But a taxonomist will always say you should use and memorize scientific name instead of common names. So why? Why it is so? So why we need scientific names? Because for most of plants, we have common names. So why we need scientific names? So in this video, we will discuss why we need scientific names of organism. So the first reason is common names are not available to all the organisms. Common names are known in locality. In small, ge small geographical area and all the plants that are present on the world do not have common name for that small geographical area or for that peoples. So common names are not available for all the organisms but scientific names are given to all the discovered organisms. All the organisms that are discovered so far will have scientific name but common names are not given to all the discovered organisms so that's why we need scientific names second reason is these are restricted to small area common names are restricted to only small area or you can say it is restricted to a language when language changes common names also changes so these are not known worldwide so they have they will cover these common names cover small geographical area they are not known worldwide third reason is a organism may have many common names any organism for example uh, when we call it mangifera indica in english it is called mango in hindi it will called am in punjabi it is called amb in sanskrit it is called amrapal so you can see that scientific name is one that is mangifera indica but it has many common names so the third reason is an organism an organism may have many common names and the changes with the change in locality or language so according to locality or language common name will change but your scientific names will always remain same in every language if it is mangifera indica it will be called mangifera indica in all the languages fourth one it does not provide any relationship or information about a journal relationship for example here this is plant rosa indica and its common name is rose in english and hindi it is gulab so for this rose we can say that okay it's a, some type of flower but it does not show its general relationship with other plant and when i write it rosa indica but it shows it shows that it has a rosa genus so it is related to all the plant that has a rosa genus for example rosa arvensis rosa canina so here we can see that this rosa arvensis and rosa canina and rosa indica are related plant because they have same genus so it scientific name provide journal relationship it tells about journal relationship of organism but from common name you can't know the general relationship of plant and the last one is scientific names are often descriptive logical and gives information about organism so when i am writing mangifera indica what it shows mangifera means mangifera is a latin word it means mango bearing plant it is it means mango bearing plant means a plant that has mango fruit indica means indica means it is native to india so here you can see that it is a me it has a meaning it is logical and it is it gives information and descriptive means any plant that bears mango fruit and that's that is native to india is called mangifera indica so here you can see that it is descriptive logical and gives information about plant but common names most of common names names are given randomly they don't have any meaning so these are the reason why we need scientific name we need scientific name because scientific names are given to all the plants and you can say that in all the locality and all language its name remains same so the name which is scientific will be known worldwide it will not change with any geographical area or language and it will provide a general relationship 
and these name scientific name are descriptive logical and give information about organism so that's why we need scientific